What is going on everybody? We're back in the garage here. Um, we actually have most of the stuff to build the nice six liter sitting here. You see Thomas still sitting in the back. The garage is destroyed right now. I've got parts organized and laying in places. We officially have everything pretty much to do it. Rings, bearings, all that. Pistons are all, I actually weighed all the pistons. Everything's good. So just like before, like y'all seen me do multiple times, we're gonna slowly build this get this thing done. The only thing I can't do is the heads. The heads are at the machine shop, but they are done. Um, so I gotta pick those up and I've gotta get head gaskets in, but we're gonna finish basically the whole short block, seal the short block up, oil paint and all, and then I can put the heads on last. But we're gonna be using a different bearing than I'm used to because this crank was 20 over, it made it hard to find bearings. I probably should have went ahead and got a different crank. But this one was with these rods previously, um, and I'm pretty sure it's all balanced together, so we're gonna keep it together. But we're gonna use some what are these, ACL bearings. Um, my buddy uses them in his 13 or 1400 horsepower Honda, so if they work in that, I'd say they'd work for us. So we're gonna get everything cleaned. The block is cleaned. I've done that already. Blew out all the oil holes, blew out all the head bolt holes. Um, but I'm gonna wipe the crank down everything and uh, start getting this thing together. So guys, a little tech tip. Um, if you're doing boosted stuff, if you look right here, something I forgot about we just did. We uh, tack welded the reluctor ring to the crank. So just a little thing that I forgot that we always make sure we do. So let's get the crankshaft in and then I'll explain something else that just happened. So guys, what you see me doing in the last uh, was torquing the rod caps. Um, I wasn't gonna sit here and film every single piston going in. It's very time consuming. Um, I kinda got in a groove after a few minutes, but it took me a minute. But we ended up torquing them to 63. That's what ARP says with H these HBM rods for Eagle rods, whatever. Um, these are the 87, 87, 40 rod bolts. So I know they're not the best, but that's what we got, that's what's in it. So, I ended up torquing at 21, 42, 63. So, um, all these are just factory spec as far as the mains and stuff go. But now we gotta finish assembling the short block. Um, I've gotta get this other time and chain gear off because we're not gonna run this time and chain. We're gonna go back to good old single cloys and another millings pump i bought the wrong pump originally it's time to get the right one in it we're going to shin this 100 thousandths and it should be good so we're going to start doing that so we can put the oil paint on so guys i finished up a lot of the small stuff because it's all stuff that most people would know how to do you know put the head studs in make sure the holes were nice and clean time and cover oil pan oil pump all the small stuff but i had to wait on head gaskets 
just so happens my buddy Steve, the camera guy from Sick Week, if you go back to day two or three of Sick Week, you've seen lives down near BTR. He was already coming up here uh, so we can run a rear end somewhere. And he stopped and got my gaskets. We have some Cometic gaskets. We went high class this time. Um, the guys at BTR kind of were like, well, if you're going to run this kind of boost, you might want to consider changing head gaskets. So that's what we did. So we are officially high class. I've never ran these. And I also got my beautiful cylinder heads back, fresh. First set I've ever had fresh, which is funny. Most of the time I just lap the valves in. Uh, take a whiz wheel to the bottom and go, but I figured we're going to do this one the right way. So, it took a week to get those in, but uh, thanks to uh, Arbondale Auto Parts and Machine in uh, Louisville, it's actually an away family due to some cousins, and uh, they got knocked out within less than a week. We also have my injectors down at Eric Durr. Uh, I got to meet him down at Bowling Green the other day after this bad windstorm and he is going to knock my injectors out. He told me it'd take a couple days, but he uh, will get them knocked out for me, so now we just got to wait on him and we'll be good. We're going to sit some injectors on, or we're going to put egg gaskets on. There's Steve. Steve! Like I said, Steve got our head gaskets, so now we just gotta do all the fancy stuff of uh, torquing heads on. But we gotta go run a rear end to Dave Moran first, which is an old guy up here that builds rear ends for us. He's, uh, we're gonna drop Steve's rear end off from the Nova from way back when. No, that rear end's no <laughs> use. <laughs> so we're gonna get that over there, then we'll come back and torque these heads on. So guys, that is it. The six liter is done. Well, as done as I can do for now. I am gonna tape over the intake uh, holes here in a minute, just as a safety precaution. So it's should be ready to drop in tomorrow. So we're gonna try to drop it in tomorrow. I'll try to get videos edited. I got two now to edit. We'll start filming tomorrow too, we'll have three, but you know, Thomas did everything she could back somewhere over there. And then, you know, uh, now it's time to upgrade. All I can do is hope at this point that it holds together. Um, we'll see. We'll get her dropped in and hopefully be making 35 pounds of boost soon. We're definitely gonna need some tuning changes because I don't think it's gonna have enough fuel now. But we also have to wait for the injectors to come back. So we're gonna get it dropped in, get the one wastegate welded up. One wastegate tube we found broke, cracked. Weld it back up for now. Um, and then basically just wait on injectors. As soon as the injectors come in, we'll drop them in, see what happens. So, guys, I really appreciate it. Like, subscribe, uh, helps me out a lot. Um, until next time, we'll see you later.